Hello, my name is uh, Paul Piskos and I am the Precise Engineer at Storeware. Today let's talk about backup. To be specific, how Storeware Backup and Recovery can protect Microsoft 365. But firstly, let me answer one question. Why we should protect Microsoft 365 entities? Answer is very simple. To avoid human mistake. I mean accidentally override data or malicious. Malicious I also mean ransomware. And one more thing, to extend um, retention of stored data. How we work? Let me show you. First, we need to log into Storer Backup and Recover. Then, if we want, if we want to backup uh, Microsoft 365, you need to open tab Cloud and select Service Provider. Here you can add your tenant. There are two ways to add tenant in Storer Backup and Recovery. I recommend you set up Assistant. Let me guide you how to do it. So first we need to cover several steps. Uh, at the beginning we need to log in. So we need to open this link and copy that authorization code and simply paste it here. Now we need to provide administrator login and password to this, uh, to this tenant and we only ask you once to do that. Now is a simple question. Yeah, let's continue. We can close this tab and move forward. We can see user is logged in. Next step is to is create application in that tenant. Here you can decide how many application you want to create in tenant and at least one application for every 500 users. Application is successfully created, so let's move for the next step. This step is basically a copy and paste. I will show you how to do it. First, you need to open this specific, specific link and provide that information. Tenant ID, um, sorry, uh, application ID at the beginning, then tenant ID, and that XML file. Now we need to name our application. Let's call it demo1 and create. We need to trust that uh, application, so yes, let's trust it. Okay, so far so good. So let's move forward. Next step. We need to grant permission for our application. Okay, on this account, perfect. You can see the bunch of permission, which you need to simply accept. Permission granted, so we can move for the next last step. Uh, this step is mandatory for newly create, created tenant. I already did that, so I can save this uh, configuration wizard. Now, simple as that, we need to save our tenant in Storage Backup and Recovery and run synchronization.
you can see progress on the workflow console and as you can see mine already finished and I can see the steps which our synchronization cover. Now you can, you can easily jump into instance tab and see entities which you can protect divided into several sections like users, groups, sites and teams. If you want to protect single user, single mailbox, you need to add it into um, policy. So let's firstly create backup SLA. As you can see, I already created two. So let's wrap up this group user policy. First of all, you need to name uh, your policy and then you need to decide which feature you want to backup. It's also divided into the section. Then you need to decide how many users you want to add in this specific policy or simply use groups from Act Azure Active Directory and in my scenario ask me select for example users. Then you need to decide where you want to store your backup and how long you want to keep that backup and when that backup should be proceed. We support here incremental forever strategy. So only the full back, the first backup is full, others are another are incremental always. We can save our policy and perform backup. So let's find our test subject, for example, user 4 and simple as that use backup button. Remember, progress is always seen in the workflow console. So let's wait for end. Okay, my task is done. So let's see what is backup. So let's open that user. We can see here statistic like daily activities, but also the statistic of backup. I mean the size, backup time, and of course transfer rate. But below are more important information for administrator like backup history or restore history. But for our case I think protected data <coughs> will be most important here. Because in the case of mailbox <coughs> you can see the whole tree of user uh, mailbox. Let's open for example inbox. We can see every um, emails in user account which we can download as administrator and deliver it to the user on other ways for example USB or maybe we can restore it into user account this if you want to do that you need to uh, leave this space empty but also you can restore this specific specific email into another account. Let's use the empty here. Now are three flags which we need to cover. First flag, restore to another path. Simple as that, create path in user mailbox where we will be restoring that email. But also you can restore delete files if user for example delete crucial information, crucial email, or maybe if he overwrite uh, some data, you can also overwrite that email in his mailbox. So let's use a restore here. Let me open the console for you. We can see the import task is running. Great! This is a place when I, when I can cover one more thing. What we can protect? So for example uh, to better experience, let me open one more time backup SLA and open the user uh, policy here. Let me open features. In storeware backup and recovery, you can easily protect exchange. I mean, the, I mean mailbox, archive ma mailbox, calendars, contacts, OneDrive for business and Teams chat, but also groups for uh, Azure Active Directory, SharePoint sites and 
Teams channels. Channels, I mean private and public. If we talk about um, Teams chat, I mean private conversation between two users. My task is finished here, so you can see um, the import is done with success and the user can see restored email. Restore is finished and now you know how Storer Backup and Recovery can protect Microsoft 365 entities. Uh, for more information, please visit our website at storeware.eu and thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you.